Hi students, hi, how are you all doing? So I hope right now with the restriction movement order, of course everyone is at home and I hope you guys are using your time wisely and of course doing daily at maths practice. So I've also shared a few questions, STM based questions in our telegram group. Feel free to download the PDF form and try the question as I'll be posting the answers soon. So today's video is about uh, the relation between the vertex form and other forms of quadratic function. So we know our general form of quadratic function, okay? I think from here you already can guess which is the general form. So this is definitely the general form. Now, which one is the vertex form of the quadratic function? Which one do you think? This is the vertex, okay? So this will be the vertex form. Please take note very well the difference between the vertex and this one is called the intercept form. Okay, so if you can identify the different types of form, so you need to know how to change. Let's say you want to change vertex to general, what you need to do. You need to change general to intercept what you need to do all right so first vertex to general if our format is in vertex we need to use expansion so that we get the general form if it's in general form okay we want to go back to vertex okay let me use another color here okay we are we have general we want to go back to vertex form we need to use completing the square all right completing the square so this method make sure you know how to do completing the square method now let's say general form we want to change to uh, intercept form so what we need to do there's two things you can choose either you want to do factorization okay a normal factorization method or you want to use the formula okay formula method now, what happens if you have intercept form, but then you want to change back to general? So, you need to do expansion. Now, what if the question asks you to change vertex to intercept? What do we need to do? So, we need to follow the, the step. First, we change to general, expand first. After expanding, we can factorize and we get intercept form. So we just have to follow the step one by one, okay? Because even though from here to go to intercept, we need to follow the steps in between. Now let's look at the example. Okay, express the quadratic function, okay, fx equals to x minus 5 over 2 square minus 9 over 4 in the intercept form. So we want in this form format okay which is fx equals to a x minus p x minus q where a p and q are constants and p is lesser than q all right so state the values of a p and q now since this is in which format here as you can see this is in vertex form right okay so since it's in vertex form now we have to change it to intercept form, right? Now, first what we need to do, first we need to expand, okay? Get the general form. After that, we factorize, okay? So let's do the expansion first. Now, okay, we have fx equals to x minus 5 over 2, x minus 5 over 2 minus 9 over 4. Okay, so here after expanding, I would get okay this is after expansion so I've actually skipped a step here okay so minus 9 over 4 so here we obtain minus 5x so of course 25 over 4 minus 9 over 4 so we get 4 so plus 4 okay we already got the general form okay this is the general form now from here changing to uh, intercept we are going to use factorization so let me use the calculator okay you can also do it manually 1 negative 5 and 4 
So we have 4 and 1. So x minus 4, x minus 1. Now, we already got the intercept form. But, the question states that P is less than Q. So, if let's say I, I compare here. Okay. Uh, looks like here the P is 4 and the Q is 1. So, what I need to do is since P value of P is less than Q, I just need to put X minus 1 to the front and X minus 4 to the back. So, the final answer of my intercept form will be x minus 1, x minus 4. Now, what is the value of A? A in front here is 1. What is the value of P? P is 1. What is the value of Q? Q is 4. So, the moment you understand straight away how to do this step by step, all the questions for even completing the square will be easy to be done. So thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in my next video. Bye.